Hey guys, how's it going? Shares back again with another episode of My Player here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 72 and today we'll be rounding out the finale of the Bundesliga season. We've got two games left, one at home against Hertha Berlin and the last one is away at Bayern Munich. A huge tie to round out the domestic season and of course in Saturday's episode we'll be playing the Champions League final against Juventus as one -off, as a one-off game slash episode. But as you can see, we're joint top of the table with Borussia Dortmund. We uh, we unfortunately are behind only on goal difference right now, so if we can win our two remaining games and win them well, then uh, we do stand a great chance of winning the Bundesliga title. We are one point clear of our parent club, Bayern Munich, as well. A club that we're looking to leave at the end of this, uh, at the end of this season, at the end of this particular third season. We're looking to. Uh, I think what I want to do is go back to a BPL team and then see out the rest of my career for FIFA 14 at that club. Try and have a definitive spell, at just one team, rather than you know flying around Europe to here, there, and everywhere, playing for loads of different teams. Just want to settle at one BPL club and uh, try and achieve as much as possible for that team. Now, uh, one thing you guys said we could do to spice things up is perhaps uh, add or buy some of the uh, the upgrades from the uh, from the catalogue. Because some of you were saying that you were you were comparing the series to uh, to other players or other YouTubers, um, you know, their my player type things. And you were saying that uh, you know we uh, we aren't necessarily progressing as well as we potentially could do, which is true. But a lot of the other YouTubers that you were mentioning have bought a lot of upgrades from the store, which we haven't. We've done this almost entirely off our own backs grown to 81 rated we are very very close to uh, to achieving some more another you know clutch of uh, different accomplishments but let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like me to buy at least some of the accomplishments perhaps we'd have to uh, to tie it to a reward so if i get a 9 9.0 or upwards rating in a game then i'm allowed to uh, to use two accomplishments from the catalog let me know in the the, uh, the comment section what you think of that that is the way i would implement it and uh, we take it from there and we'd start at the early ones so you only get like the minimal boosts and then as we work our way through perform better and better we'll have the larger boosts because it's not as if we're a, we're not a goal scoring machine already as you can see 14 goals in uh, 15 games so far this season for Wolfsburg I actually am not sure what our total career is there you go 119 appearances 79 wins, 24 draws, 16 losses, 81 goals and 41 assists in 119 games. It's not as if we're struggling to score goals because we're not good enough. So uh, let me know in the comment section about that. But less of me rambling, let's crack on with the episode. Hertha Berlin and Bayern Munich are the challenges for today. Let's start to catch him on the counter-attack in the opening few minutes. I might call for this from Caligiuri and then look to find Kevin De Bruyne with the ball over the top. He's going to get him. But can we get ourselves back into the box for a through ball here? We could... Oh, my first touch has completely let me down. I wanted to hit that first time and the first touch was so heavy. That's really disappointing. We could have got off to a perfect start in this game. Of course, we do need two wins to, uh, to stand any chance, really, of winning the Bundesliga title. Because you have to uh, presume that, that uh, Borussia Dortmund will continue to win every single game like they have done in their previous weeks. So, fingers crossed, we can get some, uh, some better touches in the box than we did just there. And uh, get ourselves the goals that we need to win our first ever league title. Oh, what a ball that is towards Varinha. There's only five minutes ref. We'll have a free kick there. There's only five minutes left before the end of the uh, the end of the first half. He's just have a cheeky little tug of his shirt there, as you can see. He's got his arm underneath his uh, his arm as well. I'm not on the free kick, so I think that's Kevin De Bruyne or perhaps Ricardo Rodriguez is going to leave it for KDB. Oh, and he hits the bar. I'm not sure whether that was the goalkeeper pushing it onto the top of the uh, top of the frame or whether it was just off the bar straight off but uh, De Bruyne might get a cross in here he has done and he's coming towards me oh, eventually after the flick on I've oh, no idea what happened to my guy there I don't know whether he tried an overhead kick there or just got pulled to the ground if he did get pulled to the ground that was potentially a question of a penalty but we stay at 0-0 just before half time not the most exciting of first halves but there have been some good opportunities if I can get a turn inside here try and find one man actually is inadvertently going to find Kevin De Bruyne Danny Caligiuri tried to find me with a return ball there and unfortunately Hertha Berlin are going to get it clear. And there goes the half-time whistle, in fact. It's trash on the right-hand side. Does have support outside in the form of Varinha and gets a return ball. Can Christian Trash get across? And he can. Can I win the header? I can, but Yastin on the end of it with a great save, pushing it clear. And unfortunately, oh, and I can't quite win it back either. It's probably the best chance this second half so far. But we stay at 0-0, just 10 minutes into, into this second period. Ben Hitara finds Bam Johan down the left-hand side. 
Hathaberlin threatening here. Only 15 minutes left to go in this game. That's a decent cross and he can't quite keep it in. Only 15 minutes left to go. We really need a goal now. Arnold has come on for, for uh, Kevin De Bruyne. I've been playing at left striker now, so I've got some support up top. I'm not sure who is the man that's alongside me. It looks as if it's Luis Gustavo, but uh, we'll have to wait and see if they'll actually bring me on an actual strike partner. But clearly the manager wants to go all out for the win. We're going to have to be careful not to fall behind here if Schultz can get inside the man, which he can't. Nosh has defended well. We've got just over 10 minutes to find ourselves a goal. Just given away a free kick by tugging at the shirt. Lustenberger breaks through the challenge. Baum Johan finds Paulinho. And it's a lovely through ball inside the defender towards Schultz. Can he stand it up? No, Rodriguez gets back well. But they're going to pick up a corner. This is nervous times right now. Someone's getting booked. No, just making a substitution. Here comes the corner, Hint. Referee's given a penalty. I don't believe it. I thought he'd headed it clear. It's not. He must have gone up with an arm there on the edge of the box. I'll check the replay. That corner was harmless. Absolutely harmless. It looks like we may have just given away a penalty and potentially given away our league title hopes as well. Is that even inside the box? I am not sure. Arnold, the man that's come on for Kevin De Bruyne. Let's slow this right down. I think that hand is outside the box. That could be the controversial loss of a league title for Wolfsburg. Hopefully we can save the penalty. We're relying heavily on Benaglio here. Two minutes to go. This could be absolutely killer. I just don't know what to say. I just All we can hope is that Benaglio could come out with a penalty save here. Otherwise it's killed our title hopes because Dortmund are winning 2-0 away from home. Benaglio, he's hit the inside the post. It's hit Benaglio and gone into the back of the net and they've scored the rebound. If it hadn't have hit the goalkeeper there, he wouldn't have been able to put that in because it hadn't hit another player yet. It has to uh, to come off an, uh, an opposition player before the... Uh, or not even an opposition player. It has to come off a uh, another player before the man is allowed to put it into the back of the net as per the rules. He just cannon back off Benaglio, which freed oh, freed Paulinho up to put that into the back of the net. Yes, Hertha Berlin 1, Wolfsburg 0, and that has absolutely broken Wolfsburg hearts. Verinha looking for me. We could be in straight away. Wowzers. Absolute stunner of a finish, pick it up says we're in stoppage time, it literally comes straight from kickoff, and uh, Verinha with a gorgeous ball in, tested it down volleyed it into the back of the net well, we've got a matter of seconds to get ourselves a winner, the title may not be done just yet Arnold, chance to catch him on the counter attack Danny Caligiuri, use Ricardo Rodriguez on the outside of you please, come on quickly, there's Arnold there's Rodriguez, oh and the referee's blowing the final whistle, we were building an attack well, that last gasp goal has absolutely thrown the cat amongst the pigeons and the title may not be gone yet. Dortmund have won. I'm pretty sure of that. They were 2-0 up. Wasn't the best of games from us. It wasn't the best of games from the team. But let's have a look. Borussia, Borussia Dortmund, where are they? Down the bottom. They did win 2-0 away at Hamburg. So uh, they are clear at the top of the table then by two points with one game to go. We need them to lose, really, because even if they draw and get one point, our goal difference isn't going to be enough because we're not going to beat Bayern Munich by uh, by six goals, are we, really? Where, where how, how do I look at fixtures? I'm not sure. Oh, there. Who do Borussia Dortmund have in their final game? Greuther Firth. Mm, it's going to, especially at home as well, it's going to be really, really hard for them not to win that game. We're going to go into this game against Bayern Munich then, our final game of the Bundesliga season, our penultimate game at Wolfsburg, and it's against our parent club. Can we pull out a performance of absolute love to potentially win us the Bundesliga title, but more importantly, to get us a dream move back to the Barclays Premier League? Trying to build down the left-hand side, kalajuri has got two men in support, one of which behind him was Ricardo Rodriguez, he's got around the man can he get across and he can, KDB's at the back post will call for a header, he's had the shot instead, it doesn't matter he's put the ball into the back of the net 2 minutes 23 seconds on the clock away from home at the Allianz Arena, it's Wolfsburg 1 by Munich 0 what a start, we won't get 6th we won't get the six that we need, but still, that is a fantastic way to kick off. If we could get a win, then it just leaves us with the best hope that we could possibly have of that Bundesliga title. Great header. 
Alaba, lovely ball inside the defender to front Ribery. Can he stand it up for a cross? He can. There's a man at the back post, carrying Benzema, in fact. But we've been able to scramble it clear. It's only as far as Goethe. So here's Sebastian Schweinsteiger. Arjen Robin on the ball. Gets inside the box well. Shot with his two-star white uh, weak foot on his right. Two-star white foot, I nearly said there. Uh, can we catch them on the counter-attack, though? Kevin De Bruyne plays the through ball. I just need to get there ahead of Bad Stuber and Diego Contento. Shoot a cross goal. Oh, it's 2-0. What a strike. Seven minutes in. This Could we get six? Could we get the six that we need to win the Bundesliga title? This is a fantastic start. Two goals inside seven minutes. This is better than Germany against Brazil in a World Cup semi-final. We need to keep this up. And we could stand a great chance of scoring uh, six goals and getting ourselves that league title. I'm just going to keep an eye on the, right, uh, the top right-hand corner to see if any news from the Dortmund game comes through. But we could not have started this game any better. And some support in the middle. He's actually been able to find Danny Caligiuri, who's got... Gustavo is out on the outside of him. Can he get a cross in? Luis Gustavo, he has got a cross in. I've won the header. It's going down towards the bottom corner. Diego Alves, in fact, is in goal now for Bayern Munich. Gets down well to save that shot. We need a lot more goals than we've got so far. It's kind of slowed down after those opening 10 minutes. But a win could be enough. Just if Dortmund get a draw, we're going to need a lot of goals. They are going to use Contento again on the outside. Good challenge from Trash. And a cheeky little back heel from Varinha. Can we break away here? I'm going to call for the ball. Oh, it's a terrible pass. Oh, but he's given it straight to KDB. Call for the through ball. Chance to make it three. Can we beat Diego Alves for a third time? We can. Two goals for us, one for KDB. On the stroke of half time, we make it Wolfsburg three, Bayern Munich nil. If we can just repeat this performance in the second half and get another three goals, and uh, actually, I don't know what the score is between Dortmund and Greuther Firth. I'll cut to, uh, to the half time scores and show you, and uh, we'll have to wait and see if it's enough to give us this Bundesliga title. Absolute drama on deadline, not deadline day, on uh, the final day here for the Bundesliga title. Here are the half-time scores then. Borussia Dortmund's currently 2-1 up against Greuther Firth, although it's encouraging to see that Firth have actually scored. So uh, if they could just do that once more, and uh, we can continue our goal-scoring form here at the Allianz Arena. Oh, we could win the Bundesliga title. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Ribery, they seem to delay putting the ball in the box here, just content to keep hold of possession. Don't know whether they know they're 3-0 down and need to get back in this game. Maybe they're quite content to finish third in the league. I wouldn't be if I was still at Bayern Munich or if we weren't out on loan, because I guess technically I am still at Bayern Munich. But here's Philipp Lahm, into Mario Goetze. What are they going to do? Come on, have a shot, have at least a shot. Frank Ribery steps inside, has the shot. Benaglio gets the first save and we eventually get it clear. Yes, we do, we win a free kick. And uh, we'll be able to uh, to clear our lines. Caligiuri. Oh, it's a nice through ball by Kevin De Bruyne to me. I'm going to need to get inside the man, though. We're going to stand a chance of scoring a fourth goal. Oh, pff, Kevin De Bruyne steals the glory. Well, I don't mind whatsoever. It's 4-0. I thought that was going to go into the back of the net just off my shot. And we were going to get a hat-trick. But Kevin De Bruyne taking no chances whatsoever. Races in. That was a genuine shot. And he runs in just smashes it into the back of the net. It's Wolfsburg 4, Bayern Munich 0. Not really too sure where this performance has come from, especially after that Hertha Berlin one. But uh, we'll take it. Not too sure what the Dortmund score is. I haven't seen anything flash up, so you'll presume it's still 2-1. But still got 20 minutes for that to uh, for that to change. Just one minute to be added on then at the end of the second half. Munich have held on to the ball for the last two or three in-game minutes. So it doesn't look like we're going to have the chance to score a fifth. But could 4-0 be enough? I just do not know. There goes the final whistle. I don't know what the score is in the Dortmund game. There's no sort of cuts in. I'm not going to listen to the commentary just in case it spoils it. Let's jump back. We've got a 7.9 rating, two goals with 100% shot accuracy and 100% pass accuracy as well. Very, very pleased with our performance in the final game of the season. The final score, Dortmund won 3-1. Oh, broken hearts. Broken hearts at Wolfsburg. Borussia Dortmund are going to win the Bundesliga title. It's going to go to the guys in yellow. Perhaps it's an omen for uh, what's going to happen in the Dortmund career mode series, an episode of which was uploaded earlier on today. But we still have the chance for some silverware this season at, Bruce, at uh, Wolfsburg. Rather. We're going to have the Champions League final in Saturday's episode. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the 9 plus rating and buying things from the catalogue idea. And uh, if you do enjoy that, then uh, I will use it for... Uh, for uh, future reference, but as you can see, at Wolfsburg we finished second in the league. 72 points behind Borussia Dortmund with 74. Really low scoring uh, points-wise uh, league campaign for all the teams, really. We have ended up this season, if we look at the squad report, 
with, this will include goals for both Wolfsburg and Bayern Munich, 22 games, 19 goals. Really, really pleased with that. Almost a goal every game, four assists as well, and uh, that's actually pretty pleasing. I think that includes uh, goals for, uh, for Wolfsburg and for... Uh, by Munich. We will have a quick look. Let's have a look at player stats and see if we're on the top goal scorer seat. Top goal scorers. We have five. Oh, that's Champions League. Don't want Champions League. We want the Bundesliga. We are third with 13. So yeah, you presume that that is correct then. But still, 19 goals in 22 games all told this season, considering we didn't get the best of, uh, or the most amount of playing time when we were at Bayern Munich in the first six months, is very, very good indeed. 17 games played, 17 goals here at Wolfsburg, and four assists. Pleased with our campaign so far, drop the video a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I will see you next time.